Today, I'm going to talk about how to dress yourself without a personal stylist. So, what is personal style? Style is a form of self-expression and is also a means of communication. The way we dress gives everyone around us information on who we are. I always believe that we all deserve to feel and look fabulous every day. No matter we spend our day at the office, spend our day with the kids in the soft play, or going out with a girlfriend and with a husband. I remembered after I had given birth to my little girl, it was about six years ago, I gained the weight that I found it hard to lose. And with a new baby to look after, self-care and my personal style was the last thing on my mind. So, if you were like me, constantly giving yourself excuses like I'm not in the right size, I'm not in the right way, I don't have anyone special to look good for, or I don't have enough money to have style, please stop! Because of confidence should never come from someone else's or someone gives you the permission to wear this or that. We should never feel guilty and shallow for wanting to look our best because when we look our best, we feel our best. And in my experience, this has a massive positive effect on increasing your confidence through the clothes you wear. So now you have the positive mindset about yourself so we can look at few key areas to dress yourself with confidence. Research has found that we all have a dynamic relationship with clothing that impacts the three different ways we view ourselves. The person that we want to be, the person that we hope to be, and the person that we fear to be. So think about the person that we hope and we want to be. Think about what do they do, the places that they visit, and the things that they do. How do they dress themselves? Take inspiration from them. Do some research. If you don't want to go shopping, make a Pinterest board or watch some old favorite movies or have a clothing swap with friends or through magazines, street styles, fashion week shows, history, movies and more. You can start to analyze that what works for you and add some trends in your style. But remember, don't blindly following them. Let confidence build each time you realize that the way you dress is your way and not exact likeness of someone else. When you are putting an outfit together, comfort should be the first thing to consider because your outfit is the first thing others see when they see you. So you should feel comfortable in the way you present yourself to the world. However, style that's natural to you may not always be conventional. For example, you may be talented or qualified, but sweatpants or casual wear at a job interview probably won't communicate your ambitions to your potential boss. Or it won't look good if you keep pulling your skirts in the playground playing with your kids. Therefore, make sure to keep your lifestyle in mind when defining your style because you want to create a wardrobe that reflects reality too. Knowing your body shape is another key factor to dressing with confidence. It looks good on the mannequins, it doesn't mean that it looks good on you. Style is not limited to certain shapes or sizes. Accept parts of your body you don't like and don't let them hold back to your style development. If you wanted to know more about what to wear in your body shape, you can check out my other videos here and there. Your body shapes and proportions determine the clothes that are going to suit you the best. It helps you choose clothes that are going to suit you and make you look more balanced and give you the shape that is more beautifully pleasing. For balancing body shapes, here are some ideas. If you have narrow shoulders like triangle shapes, you need to add some volumes of shoulders to balance out the shape. How to make dress will help. If you have a wide shoulder but a flat bottom, like an inverted triangle shape, you can wear a line skirt to make your shoulder look wider. If you have balanced the shape, 
which defines a waist like hourglass shape, you got the ideal body shape. Stripless and off the shoulder style was best for your shape. But to avoid high neck lines and to wear not to wear drop shoulder top and outer neck dress. If you have a balanced body with an undefined waist, like an oval shape, this type of body, the volume concentrates on the upper part. No waistline, flat bottom. You better not to have clothes that bring attention to your waist area and clothes that show off your legs. So jackets and blazers should be better because they bring structure and shape. After you get comfortable with what look good on your body shape, consider what color look best with your appearance. Depending on your hair color, skin tone, and the shape of your eyes color. Once you discover the right color for yourself, that will positively impact your entire look as well as your confidence. Here's a quick guide to help you master this wardrobe tip. If you had light skin tones such as ivory or porcelain, light colored eyes like blue or green, and fairer colored hair, soft blonde, golden gray, or strawberry blonde, like Kate Bosworth and Kat Blanchett. Then you can try out color like warm colors like cream, peach, golden yellow, and light orange. Colors that are bright and light like lime green, lemon yellow, coral. If you generally have ash brown, ash blonde, and golden blonde hair, beige or tan skin tones, and gray green, Grey blue or blue grey eyes, like Jennifer Aniston and Hilary Duff. You can try out color like light and cool colors. For an elegant look, go for sky blue, aqua, powder pink, and light grey. For a relaxed and friendly look, choose pastels. Stay away from very dark colors close to your face. If you generally have medium brown auburn and chestnut colored hair with warmer skin tones like honey brown or warm beige their eyes range from hazel and topaz to olive and golden brown celebrities like adele jessica elba and julia robertson you can try colors with golden undertones like camo beige orange gold and chocolate brown or warm shades of browns and reds. Pitch clothes that are too tight and don't flat to you. A lot of people were thinking to hand on those clothes that fitted them in slimmer younger days and hoping that one day they will fit in them clothes again. But the reality is they will put them away in the loft and forgotten all about them. Instead of having a sense of failure, why not having a wardrobe with a sense of joyful and this is one of the easiest ways to dress for confidence. To wrap things up, this video consists some of the best ways to elevate your look and dress for confidence. You can repair or restyle the clothing pieces that you have now and add one or two new clothing pieces to give them some brand new energy. Hope this video helped and thank you so much for watching till the end. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider to subscribe and make sure not to miss my weekly video. Bye bye!